afternoon. There, we shut him off. Welcome to another edition of Canteen Cup Tuesday. What's on the menu, you ask? We've got some meat or ranch. And I cleaned these up. I'm going to give them a boil. we got fiddleheads. And I'm going to boil the ranch. Or the leeks, whatever we prefer to call them. I call them leeks. In with the fiddleheads. Stir them up there. And light the stove. Yes, I know we're on a highway. It's my own land. It's what the state didn't steal from my grandparents. And it's annoying, but it's an uh, interstate highway. It's not like somebody could stop and come down here. So, but it's my land. So, that's what makes it nice. I've seen a turkey. We've given them a boil for a minute. Put that in with them. See how it comes out. While I'm waiting for them to boil, I will shut you off. Traffic is heavy up there today. Because it is a Sunday, it's a beautiful day, and all this is a canteen cup Tuesday being done on a Sunday. I should have brought my cast iron skillet with me. Because I could have finished this in a cast iron skillet, but. I don't have it with me. This piece of land we're on has been in my family for one, two, three. I'm the fourth generation to own what's left of it. The federal government took the lion's share of what was on. There's actually the interstate railroad tracks. Then there's a swamp, and then there was my great-grandfather's farm that's up on the main road up here. It's quite a ways away. He had quite a bit of acreage. And uh, that site was given to his son, one of the sons, the farm. This side of the railroad tracks was given to my grandfather, and it was his sugar place. He had a large maple sugar operation up in here that the state and federal government just wiped out. They just destroyed it when they put the road through. I suppose it's progress, but when it's your land that gets progress, it never leaves you very happy. I was very young. Uh, my grandfather died in 1960. I was three years old. So I think he was 1961, yeah, because I was born in 1957. See, I'm old too. I do remember him. I remember the sugar house vaguely. Not, I don't have a lot of memories. I just remember it. Uh, it didn't actually get torn down until 1965. And my father was still, was came up and they took a lot of stuff out of it. And I was partaking in that. They moved some buildings. The main sugar house was bulldozed down. And that's how we came to own what little bit of land is left here. And um, I won't give it up. I know it seems kind of foolish, but it's, it's my heritage, my past. It's annoying. I could give it to the town. They think it's valuable. They're taxing me enough. Nobody's ever going to buy it because it's, 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 I have to use a four-wheeler, four-wheel drive to get here some of the year. Most of the year I can't get here. Um, 
it's not a very valuable piece of land to anybody. But the town would like to make a forest park up here. Well, we've given it up. Fuck them. Uh, screw them. Excuse me. I'm not giving it up. I shoot here. I My son's got two nice bucks here. I've got a buck and a doe. Two does here with a bull. And I've got a buck here. And I'm not giving it up. Those little black flies are really thick. One of them just bit me in the ear. I did get it. it hurt. We've got a good boil going here. Go ahead and scan that stuff off. There's the fiddleheads have a little copper color. And uh, it'll boil off. Okay, yeah, that's all part of foraging. If you don't need a little dirt and a little impurities, you're not foraging. Maybe my fork would work better. I don't even know that that would hurt you. We let them boil there and tender up. Those little stoves are incredible. They work really well. I, I don't build a fire this time of year because it, everything is tender. And if it got away from me, I could do a lot of damage. So I don't build a fire in the woods. I will once it greens up and... Uh, Ouch. Ah. A lot of little bugs out today. See what I mean by that little coppery colored stuff that's on the fiddleheads? Those that haven't been done. I saved some for my wife. She loves them. But it's that brown fluffy stuff. And you pick off what you can get, but you can't get it all. And I've never heard anybody say that it does anything to them. Somebody probably will say, ah, it does this, it does that. I don't know. That's usually how we do it. She actually fries hers. I don't have a frying pan. I don't have a pot holder either. Well, I was out foraging today. I found that, I think it's a calf bone. I don't believe it's a deer, but oh! I might know what that is. A moose got hit by a, a young moose. Got killed on the railroad tracks back here several years ago. I wonder if that's a leg, small leg bone. But look how the little rodents have gnawed on that. There's some fresh work there. I picked it up. I thought it was kind of cool. I'll probably put it in my junk. That's what I need, eh? Well, we'll shut this off for a minute and I'll let those boil. Added the spam. Let it boil for just a couple moments longer. Shut that off. Green water off. Probably the water's in pretty good drinking, I don't know. Whoops. I'm not fussy. I'm gonna waste a piece of spam. Or a fiddlehead. Mm, they're good. Get some spam. Fiddlehead. Leak. Mm. Wow. Fiddleheads have a spinach quality, or uh, uh, an asparagus quality. It's really good. I didn't bring salt, ag, because the spam has got, it's kind of salty. And of course the ramps, they actually have a flavor of their own. But it's like a garlic, or an, it has an onion texture. With a slight, boy boiled, they're good. I don't know if anybody ever does boiling onions. I wish you were here. This is something everybody should try. Well, there you have it. Another foraging canteen cup Tuesday. Thanks for watching.